Good evening, Internet. I'm Dave Morris. Ahead tonight on The Play, we'll talk flu numbers, some Thunder basketball, some Super Bowl action, even some Justin Bieber. But first, expect cold weather this weekend. National Weather Service says a storm system will move through Friday night into early Saturday. Now, as this occurs, some light precipitation in the form of freezing drizzle or light freezing rain may occur across parts of central and northern Oklahoma. As you can see, winter weather chances exist beginning Friday through next week. The state health department confirmed on Thursday five more Oklahomans have died because of the flu. This flu season, 25 Oklahomans have died from the illness, including two children. The number is up from 17 people the same time last year. The highest rates of illness have been among children younger than four and adults 65 years or older. Those two age groups are both at high risk for developing serious complications from the flu and are recommended to get flu shots. Our Jacqueline Cosgrove is working on this story. Three Oklahoma City high schools and one from Tulsa were recognized as academic state champions Thursday by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. The report for the scholarship program hi highlighted the 2013 Oklahoma's Promise state champion in each class. Oklahoma City schools took the title in classes 5A, 4A, and 2A, and our Catherine McNutt will have more on this tomorrow. Well, one of the trendier stories on NewsOK.com today featured your boy, Justin Bieber. Our man, George Lang, provided some analysis of Bieber's behavior in our morning static session. The way I look at it, he is, he might be kind of like laying the groundwork for the next phase of his career, which is just to be kind of a thug. I mean, I, you know, it, it, it's, it's like, okay, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the wilderness. I'm going to get arrested a few times. I'm going to, I'm going to turn myself in to Toronto police like he did yesterday. And that's the first headline. That's the headline exactly. yesterday. He's facing assault charges in Toronto for an incident in December. That's right. He was he was actually smacking the back of the head of a chauffeur Never, who was taking him around. It's bad, which, which is bad form. That's bad form. I mean, don't do that, okay? <laughs> so anyway. George Lang and Static can be found every morning on NewsOK.com. Hey, be sure to pick up the Weekend Look section. That can be found in Friday's Oklahoma. In the sports section, our Barry Trammell is, uh, well, he's in New York covering the Super Bowl. So for tomorrow's newspaper, he's writing about the redemption of Wes Welker. Welker has had some memorable drops that have cost his team, and he's never won a Super Bowl, but that can change on Sunday. I mean, you, you got to have great players uh, in, in great offenses. So, I mean, I, I think it's what it comes down to is, you know, is, is having great players. And uh, obviously the coaches play a key part, but at the end of the day, it's, it's – you know, it's players going out there and executing the way you need to execute. You can read more from Barry Trammell in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman, including what it's like to be in New York for the Super Bowl or in New Jersey. There seems to be a discrepancy on who is exactly hosting the game, and Barry will break that down for us tomorrow. We hosted our Thunder Thursday hangout today with Mike Sherman, Jenny Carlson, and DJ Anthony Slater. You can watch that online at newsok.com. Our man Darnell Mayberry was in South Beach for the big win over Miami last night. He'll be in Brooklyn tomorrow night as the Thunder faces the Nets. Look for these stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. Stay warm and have a great Thursday night, everyone.